Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to design a nut and bolt and later on we will assemble them together and then we will create a small animation of the nut and bolt assembly. So for starting I am just having in a new part and I am choosing my top plane and I am creating a sketch on it. So for that you just create a polygon like this and give it a size go for smart dimension and give from this point to this point as 18.6 accept it now to fully define it just select this point and control the origin and give a relation as horizontal so now my sketch is fully defined now go for features and extrude it now the extrude length is 7 and simply accept it now on this plane you just uh, on this phase just create a sketch like this make it normal to view and go for a circle from this origin try to touch it the edge and now you select your circle control the edge and give a relation as tangent now make it isometric and go for a extrude cut now make sure you flip it outside now you see this direction it should be like this and Go for a draft of 60 degree and accept it. Now you will get like this. Now we have to select this face and go for a sketch. Make it normal to the screen and go for a circle here. Give it a dimension of 10 mm. Now orient it by asymmetric and now you go for finish sketch and extrude it. You make sure it's small result and up to a depth of 45. Now you get bolt like this but now at this edge you have to go for fillet here and to this edge give a fillet of 1 mm and just apply now at this edge you have to put a chamfer so for that you go for chamfer select this edge and give also 1 mm 45 degrees and finish now you are getting a shape of a bolt now you select this face and go for a sketch because we have to create helix at this face so go for convert entities select this edge now and go for convert entities now you will get this sketch now you go features and go for curves helix and spirals now you will see go for heightened pitch the option is heightened pitch and go for variable pitch now you have to tell here what is your height and what is the pitch for that particular interval so for that simply go for height 0 and let's say pitch 2 and dia 10 for here you give height 25 and pitch again 2 and I have gain 10 so you are getting some spiral here and for the third one you go for go for 27 same page 2 and height as 12 go here as 12 now you are getting something here now start angle make sure it is 0 degree and it is clockwise now you can see 
some portion is coming out why this is coming out you will get to know when we will be creating your threads so now now just accept this now now go for right plane and take a sketch here make it normal to the screen and at this portion take a line tool and create something like take a line tool properly now go for a, a center line and from this point to the mid of this line now select this point and this point make them horizontal and select this line control this line and the center line and make them symmetric and now give a angle to these two lines of 59 degrees and this distance as as 1.7321 Okay, now take a central line from the mid of this to the mid of here. Now you take point and at the intersection here you place a point. Now you click escape first. You select that point, control this helix and make them pierce after that you go for again a point and place somewhere here and take a center line at the center of this edge you just create a center line and now go for smart dimension from this center to the point you created it should be let's place here and make it 4.513 now go for a circle and be very careful and start a circle incident to this point somewhere like this and make it touching to this point now you select your circle and control select this line and make them tangent and just accept it go for trim and trim this portion this one now you trim this portion also this one also now as this is not right, right now fully defined because of the trim so simply do one thing just give these dimensions just to make it fully defined accept whatever it is and just finish now your sketch is fully defined complete the sketch and go for sweep cut now for profile you select this sketch and go the path you select your helix and accept the result you will get your threadings so as i told the upper pitch was variable to get this thing because if we give the same it would come like this so it is my bolt now you save this file as let's say save as and make it bolt on my desktop i'm saving it now for my nut i'm going to create a new file and I am starting with the top plane and creating a sketch on it. Just go for a polygon like this. 
give it a dimension from this point to point as 18.6 now select this point and control origin make them horizontal now go for features and extrude this one at the depth of 8 now select this face go for sketch and tick circle and make it normal and touch this edge escape and select your circle and select the edge make them tangent now go for isometric and complete the sketch go for extrude cut mm, flip the direction and make a draft of 60 degrees we will get like this you we are going to repeat the same thing on this face so quickly go for circle control this one make them tangent exactly the same one go for extruded cut and draft of 60 degrees that's fine okay now we are getting our nut so select this face and go for a hole here give it a dimension of 8.5 now you can go for your extrude cut make it it is through all and now you have to put some chamfer at this side and that side so simply go for chamfer give a chamfer of one and select this face and select this face now accept it you will have two chamfers like this now our nut has been created somewhat but you will ask if there is no threading inside so we do not have to do anything for creating threads there is very interesting feature in solidworks you can do that with uh, with that feature now save this as nut and now go to windows go for bolt now go to insert go for part and go for this bolt here open sorry for nut and open now you place it like this now you go here minus 35 translate and just accept it but it is going outward so just shift control z again control z again so go for insert again go for part select your nut okay now you make sure this one is ticked and it is saying hit ok to insert it to the origin so hit okay so now go for minus 35 here in y and it will be like this now go for insert go for features go for combine and for go for subtract main body is this one and this is my body to combine now you will see it automatically created threads inside it now now again 
go for file and save as not now we want to make a little animation so just save it go. now you go for file and just to make an assembly go for a new and go for assembly this time now go for browse and on your bolt place it like this now go for insert component sorry you can simply bring this one but this one is not with the thread so close it and again go for insert component and we give that one name as not one so select that one and open so now you see there is threading inside it so to assemble it go for mate and go for concentric mate and select this one and that one and apply a concentric mate this phase one clear selection select this one select that one go for concentric and accept it now we have to go to mechanical mate because it is a screw so go for screw mate go for distance per revolution so that means at one revolution how much distance it have to cover go for two and now now you can do one thing you can drag it like this now to for mechanical mate you do one thing because we have to select the internal of the thread so the, uh, of this nut so do one thing select this one and hide it and now you can select this face and uh, from your bolt make it show and you select this face this one and go for your screw make it two and accept it now you can do one thing you can check it whether it is working or not if it is revolving it is traveling longitudinally so that is a screw mate in mechanical mates so what now we have to do we have to uh, create an animation of this so for that go to motion study go to motion study and add a motor here but before we go to motor then simply right click here and go for check interference let's so do one thing before you go for motion study simply go for evaluate and go for interference detection because we have to check the interference so calculate It is going to tell me where the interference is it is showing at this red area there is interference so ignore this one and now you save your assembly so before you save you rebuild it so that now give it a name as let's say assembly 2 is fine save now you can go for motion study you right click and disable playback of view keys now you can go for a motor here uh, motor here and you choose a linear motor you just do one thing you just bring it down now for com for, mo for motor location you select this face of nut and for component to move related to this one now go for constant speed 
and now it's up to your choice how much uh, is the speed let's say one is fine So now simply go for finish it, go for calculate. You can see now it is for 4 seconds. You can do one thing, you can drag this one and you can increase this time. And now you can again go for calculate. If you want to increase the speed. It will increase the speed if you want to decrease then you can go for decreased one and now you can move it very slowly and let's say if you want to increase the speed and the mode you want to play back mode in a loop then you can simply it will continuously play in loops so that's the way you can create your motion study also so uh, this is Jagbir Singh if you like my video you can uh, hit the like button if you want to share your uh, views about the video you can uh, post your comments please share it with your friends and please subscribe this channel for more coming cool videos about SolidWorks or other softwares this is Jagbir Singh signing off today Jai Hind Jai Bharat